Visiting Sumba When to visit the best time to visit Sumba is during the early part of the dry season, from May to June, when the landscape is still very green. Between December and April, there is more rainfall. Although the island has a largely dry northern Australian climate, the highest temperatures come during the late dry season from October and November. The average temperature in the east is 27 to 36 C while the west is 2 to 3 degrees cooler. At night, temperatures can drop to below 15 C from June to August and nighttime temperatures, in general, are much cooler than in Bali or Lombok. How to get there? Wings and Lion Air fly daily return flights to Sumba's Tambalaka and Umbu Mahangkunda airports. From Bali's two airports, you can also fly from Jakarta through Timor or take passage on a ship, ferry, or private boat. Once on the island, there are local buses and private hotel transfers, or you may prefer to explore the island on a rented car or motorcycle. What to do in Sumba? Here is a guide to some of the most popular attractions, natural, historical, and cultural, in each regency. West Sumba Regency The West Sumba Regency is famous for its traditional architecture and well-preserved local culture, with many villages of high-roofed houses clustered on hilltops. Visit the traditional Sumbanese houses at Tabara village, which has 38 traditional houses, where you can buy local ikat textiles and other handcrafted goods and get a real experience of village life. The coastline boasts unspoiled white beaches stretching for miles. Bawana Beach is especially popular for incredible sunset views. Inland, rice fields sprawl out and up the mountains, which are snaked by rivers and dotted with sprouting bamboo and coconut palms. On the south coast of the Regency, you will find Nihi Resort, a luxury five star eco resort which has won a number of awards and is pushing forward sustainable development on Sumba. Lapopu Waterfall is the highest waterfall in East Nusa Tenggara, located within the Manupiu Tana Daru National Park area, and is particularly interesting as a stratified waterfall where the water tumbles down steps rather than falling straight down into a deep pool. Southwest Sumba Regency At the western tip of the island is the Southwest Sumba Regency where you'll find the picturesque Watu Mandorak Cove, a white sandy beach hidden under a towering cliff. It is a two-hour drive from Tambalaka in the dry season, but virtually inaccessible during the rainy season. Ratangaro Beach is a surfer's paradise with high, long waves and a traditional village. Another popular spot is Wikuri Lake, the high salt content of which allows you to float effortlessly in its crystal blue waters. East Sumba Regency. Sumba's larger and less densely populated eastern province is dotted with several traditional villages, stunning beaches and dramatic waterfalls, as well as fascinating ancestral tombs. It offers a dramatic landscape of dry undulating savanna interspersed with cashew orchards, with wild horses roaming the limestone hills. Walakiri Beach, located in Watambaka village on the northern coast, is a popular stop off, while Tarimbang Beach offers surfers 2 to 3 meter waves between June and September. Puru Kambera Beach is a beautiful stretch of white sand boasting clear blue water and green savanna to explore nearby. Heading inland, Tungaju Waterfall, nestled in the Green Mountains 26 km from the capital city of Waingapu, is well worth a visit. Waimarang is another waterfall that's hard to get to but worth it for its natural beauty, while Landamuki Waterfall is more conveniently located in Tapal village near Pindu Hurani Beach. Wairinding Hill, in the village of Pambotanjara, is a magical sunset point that reveals green savannas in the rainy season that turn yellow during the wet season. Persuahan Moliru features expansive rice fields with the perfect Instagram worthy backdrop. Sumba's exciting future. Despite facing the global challenges of poverty and conservation in the face of increased interest from the outside, Sumba has a bright future. Rapid economic growth is predicted with a rise in tourism underpinned by a commitment to clean energy production. The Nihi Sumba Resort has shown the way in terms of sustainable development, attracting wealthy tourists to its luxury accommodation and earning the title of best hotel in the world two years running. Growth in tourism. Land prices in Sumba remain low, especially compared to Bali and Lombok, but with increasing awareness and interest in the island, they are on the rise, increasing 100% year-on-year. The growth is slow but steady, suggesting it will continue for many years. This prediction is supported by infrastructure improvements in both road and air transport and plans for a new international airport. It is also boosted by various commitments to sustainable development and the success of Nihi Sumba, a landmark development on the island. Sumba was one of the top three most searched terms for Indonesia on Google between January 2017 to July 2018, showing an increased interest in the island. An emerging eco island. 
with the development of hydro energy plants and solar and wind farms on the island, the Indonesian government has set a target for the island to be using 100% renewable energy by 2025. The government sees Sumba as an opportunity to present a green jewel to the world. It promises to be an example of sustainable development done properly, increasing tourism and promoting economic growth while taking care of the people, cultural significance, unique biodiversity, and natural beauty of the island. World class resort. Several resorts, like Leluatu, are paving the way for others to enter the market in Sumba. These types of resorts have seen phenomenal success, blending luxury accommodation and sustainable development, and some went as far as to be voted the best hotel in the world by readers of Travel Plus Leisure magazine, two years running in 2016 and 2017, as well as appearing in numerous list of top luxury eco resorts. Located 150 km from Tambalaka Airport, these resorts have been described as a deserted stretch of private, gold sand beach backed by raw, tropical jungle. It is the quintessential luxury island getaway and sets the standard for other resorts to follow. Leluatu, with its luxury villas, wellness center, world class restaurants, and range of adventure activities, have attracted wealthy tourists and celebrities for its exclusivity and luxury facilities. Despite nightly prices in the tens of thousands of dollars, occupancy remains at capacity, demonstrating the massive potential for similar developments. An island paradise full of opportunity, with its outstanding natural beauty, abundance of rare wildlife, historical and cultural significance, and the growth in tourism boosted by the government's commitment to making it an eco-island, Sumba represents a world of opportunity. An opportunity to explore the unique landscape, the culture and history of its inhabitants and also an opportunity for investment in the sustainable development of an island paradise. <laughs>